disastrous Afghanistan withdrawal before the U.N. General Assembly today. I stand here today for the first time in 20 years with the United States not at war. We've turned the page. Biden claimed he pulled the U.S. out to, quote, swap relentless war for relentless diplomacy. The speech comes as his own Pentagon is ordering a review into the botched drone strike, which didn't kill a single terrorist, but tragically took the lives of an American ally and seven children. Joining us now to discuss is Florida Congresswoman and member of the Homeland Security Committee, Kat Kamick. Congresswoman, thanks so much for joining us tonight. Hey, Jen. So good to be with you. Thanks for having me. Great to be with you, too. Well, you know, Biden wants to move on from this story as quickly as possible, but I really don't think that's happening. Uh, a relative of the Afghan family that was killed in this strike are now calling for compensation. Uh, he says he lost 10 members of his family and the United States should pay. What do you think the Biden administration owes the families of those that were killed? Well, for starters, an explanation, an apology, and a complete review of his entire leadership leading up to this debacle. You know, it's interesting because Biden has done everything but talk about Afghanistan. He's done everything but take true accountability for this in this entire debacle that has played out. I mean, from soup to nuts, this has been a disaster. Lives have been lost of not only Americans, but now we see that this drone strike, which they were so quick to order with their so-called over the horizon policy, which of course, if we had actually kept our intelligence collection in, intact in Afghanistan, in our embassy, this wouldn't have happened. But of course, he was so quick to stop the bleeding, the hemorrhaging of his uh, sinking pull numbers that he decided he was going to take action on a so-called ISIS fighter, turns out to be an aid worker and innocent children. Has he gone out and apologized? No. Has he taken accountability? No. I would like to see a full accounting of how this intelligence came to be and who ultimately pulled the trigger, because this is shameful. And in this UN speech, he did anything but talk about Afghanistan, talking about how we're swapping relentless war for relentless diplomacy. You mean his diplomacy with the Taliban, the relentless war and the drone strike that he continued to carry out with shoddy intelligence? Give me a break. And, you know, what about our, our people that are still over there in Afghanistan and our stance with the Taliban? Senator Lindsey Graham was in an interview this morning. Uh, he believes that the Taliban is letting people out in small groups in order to maintain leverage over the United States. Uh, and he says, you know what, we need to tell them, give, give, our, give them 30 days to get our people out or else. I mean, what kind of stance do you think Biden needs to take with the Taliban versus kind of letting them call the shots? You know, never in my lifetime did I think that we, the United States of America, would be taking marching orders from the Taliban. I just never in my wildest dreams thought that this is something that would happen. Yet here we are, and we are paying off the Taliban, rewarding bad behavior, encouraging them through our inaction and continual moving and adjusting and, and quote unquote, being flexible to meet their demands. I can attest to what Lindsey Graham said. They are letting small groups out to maintain this facade of a somewhat operable government. But here's what we do know. My team has so far gotten 339 people out. 339 Americans and our allies have been out at the, as a result of the work that our team has done. Now, our office isn't the only one. There are lots of congressional offices that have been working tirelessly to get our people home, something that this administration will not do. But I can tell you on top of that, there's over 2,000 people on our list that have been vetted, that have passports, that are citizens of Canada, that are German citizens, that have green cards. These are people that were left behind because of Biden and his cronies. And there is no way to get them out unless we go off book, that we work with other people in the region. This administration has completely washed their hands at the entire situation, hoping that Americans forget about it. Quite, quite simply put, I mean, we will not let people forget about this, but we have got to put the pressure on. We have got to make sure that we're holding people accountable because this is shameful. We have injured soldiers in Walter Reed right now because of this president and his yeah. shoddy decision making. Indeed. Congresswoman Kat Kamick, they're telling we've got to wrap, but great to have you on the program. Hope you'll join us again soon. Thank you. Thank you so much, Jen. Have a good night.